We begin tonight with a packed house at UC Davis Health Stadium tonight. Football fans bringing more than just spirit to tonight's game against Idaho. Proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test now required to get through the gates. For the first time, we're getting to see what that process looks like. You're watching the CBS 13 News at 10. I'm Marissa Perlman. We're also streaming live on CBSN Sacramento. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live at the stadium with weather fans packed their patience to get inside. Madison? Yeah, you've heard of a golden ticket. Well, for our case, why don't you think of a golden wristband? It's the thing that fans needed to get them right through these gates so they can make all that noise. It signifies that they showed that proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. Before fans get here and before they're here, They've got to show proof they're vaccinated or have a negative COVID test within 72 hours. Not too different. I mean, we usually have to stand in line like to show our um, tickets, but it's different having to show a vaccine card. That process starts at the end of this line. A hard copy or photo proof is what they need when they get to the front. And right before kickoff, there's a wait. Here you go. Thank you. Some fans weren't phased by the time in line. No, we're just standing here visiting with our friends who also went to Davis, so we're happy. Other Aggies had questions about the process. I mean, I played here. I went to school here. So, I mean, that's the craziest part. It's like, if you do it once, why do you have to do it over and over and over again? We're going to try to get this line moving as nicely as possible. We took that concern. I'm not going to stand in line. It's long. To the athletics department. We're told that's the kind of feedback fans should share. We will definitely talk about the process. We will solicit feedback from our fans. Um, we have people who are in line seeing how long the process took. Um, we could add more tents if the lines were very long. We could have kind of fast pass lines for donors. The wait, well, it's worth it for fans who haven't been in a stadium in over a year. So it's really nice to be back. Smell the cow smell, even though it's like, it's, it's traditional for Davis. Uh, it's the little things, right? The cow smell. Well, of course, as rules change and evolve, we're told that these rules could change too. But the big push to implement the proof of vaccination or the negative COVID test came because this team was doing so well. UC Davis Athletics was getting so many phone calls and hearing from fans that they wanted to be inside this stadium to see the team live because, let's be honest, being inside beats watching it on TV.